your fucking key. I'm gonna ask you again. Where's the fucking key? Fucking calm down. Where's the fucking key? You fuck calm key? down. No, where's the
asshole. The fuck are you doing? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize this was your lamp. This is not my lamp. This is my trash. This was my lamp. Now it's my trash. You think there's Eddie. a fucking goodwill here? Eddie, just give him a break. Eddie. Give him a break. Why don't you shut the fuck up, huh? Why don't you crawl up my ass a little further? I'm sorry. Yeah, get the sorry. fuck out of here, huh? Sorry. Get out of here. Hey, hey. This fucking old fart's taking my shit, man. It's the Brady. Your last preparer should have been aware that your pension is taxable, Mr. Koppel. I don't know what to tell you. You might consider civil action. But... Mr. Koppel? I can't pay this. I've designed a repayment schedule to make it easy and real clear for you. But this first figure is all my savings. If you could pay the lump sum of $6,000, then all you'd have to make would be 70 weekly payments of $84. Seven. Do you understand what I'm saying, Mr. Koppel? Seventy. Let's, let's, uh, double-check the math. We don't get you any more penalties than we have. Reemployment could be a solution. Pardon me? Many people in your situation consider returning to the workforce, Mr. Koppel. There's an older man down the block from me. He got a job as a security guard. You know, a night watchman. I'm a violinist, you know. Well, it's something to keep in mind. I remember my grandfather always had trouble sleeping. I don't know how it is with you. No. I don't have time. Sleeping. Excuse me. took me to her parents' house. They were away. I was... I was 19 years old. What kind of shoes did she wear? They were green. Satin, I think, like... slippers. I played the violin, and she danced. The snow. Tell about the snow. I had boots. She didn't. There must have been a foot of snow that weekend. I swept the slush from a path with my foot. When the drifts got really deep on the lawn in front of the house, I carried her. On your back? In my arms. Who made the fire? It was waiting. Her parents had apparently been there that afternoon. And she danced for you naked? The firelight? Mm, I played the violin, and she danced. This is my favorite part. Reminds me of my Angela. She was gorgeous. But she never let me leave the lights on. It was because she was so big. But I loved every inch of her. Howard. I would have liked a little oral sex, though. Howard. What are you whispering? Are you trying to tell me a woman dances naked in front of a fire and won't give you oral sex? You have no sense of romance, Howard. And you're a goddamn sissy. You know, nobody here cares what we're talking about. And if they did, they couldn't hear us anyway. Help! I'm having a heart attack! Open it. I have to leave soon. Now you're upset. I'm not upset. Are you upset? I said when I came, I had to leave early. Open it. I know why you're upset. It's March. I hope you've been preparing. I can do your taxes from in here. You got the receipts. You got the receipts? Yes, next time. Blank. Turn it over. I'm so old, my fortune is black.
Watch the old guy's pockets around the tuna. Excuse me, miss. Your friend moved, I think. Can I borrow a towel? A towel, please. Dirty. A girl slept in my room last night. Did you know the average human being loses eight pounds of skin every year? At my stage of life, can I afford to wash off more than I have to? Did you hear me? I heard you. Why don't you eat some of this? I thought my daughter was coming. I got cottage cheese. No, I don't want any. She must be pretty desperate sleeping with you. I slept in the chair. Bring her over to visit me. Tell her not to wear underwear. Do you have to talk like that, Howard? I'm sitting here waiting to die. I can talk any damn way I want to. What day is this? Wednesday. 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 I thought my daughter was coming. I got cottage cheese. Here, eat some of this. The oh. girl slept in my room last night. There's a girl in your room. I already 
told you. I must have been dozing. So tell me about this girl. Well, there's not much to tell. Is she pretty? Suppose. Is she young? Very. Where'd she come from? She's not a streetwalker, is she? She a two-dollar girl? She was looking for the man who lived upstairs from me. She was looking for me? Not for you. I used to live upstairs. Uh, she wasn't looking for you, Howard. You fuck that? Howard. Of course not. Ah, spoken like a man in his 70s. Invite her back. Get to know a fucker. Then tell me everything. I'm tired of hearing about Dorothy all the time. I'm ready for a change. I've got to go. How old did you say she was? 21. 22. I got 22-year-old pants. Okay, I just gotta stay here for like one more night. I don't think it's a good idea. It's just one night. Just for one night? No. No. Um. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Rob you? I was here all last night and I didn't fucking do anything. Just slept on the floor. What kind of shoes did she wear? Yeah. They were green, satin, I think, like slippers. I played the violin, and she danced. It was snowing, you carried it? Yes. His wife danced naked for him in front of the fire in her parents' cabin. Howard, Howard, please. She's a nurse. She's heard everything. You people want a pulse? Take it while he tells the story. Well, I'll let you two alone. Don't you get him too riled up. I like that nurse, Westman. What were we talking about? I forget. Me too. The girl wanted to sleep in my room last night. I wouldn't let her. Who? The girl, the girl that slept in my room the other night, you know. A girl slept in your room? Hi. Fucking freezing out here. Do me a favor, will you? Leave a lock off that door in there. I can sleep in the hallway and not freeze my ass off.
Joseph Kappel. Ciao, Zwicky. I'm sorry. Oh. You're busy. No, it's fine. Yeah. Well, thank you. This is for $84. Mr. Koppel, you still owe the $6,000 payment. Yeah, I was hoping we could stretch the $84 payments over a longer period. We can't do that. But there's everything I have, you know. Surely we could make some arrangement. This is the IRS, Mr. Koppel. Mm -hmm. We attach bank accounts and pensions and we get paid. And if we don't, I get fired and you go to jail. Please, let us hear from you soon, okay? to close out the account. Upstairs. You need batteries? For your hearing aid? I don't have hearing aid. Just don't like to talk. Oh, that's all right. Oh, it's terrible how the weather affects you as you get older. Ooh, Fifteen years ago, I played tennis. Now, getting on a bus knocks me out for an hour. Oh, don't like to listen. Okay. I'm very, very sorry. You have to leave. It's been a pleasure.
Wittgenstein. A philosopher. Mm -hmm. You read a lot of this? Yes, sometimes. What's up, Frank? Really? Sounds exciting. Eddie's looking for you. Really? Yeah. I don't know nothing about nothing between him and Lewis. No, nobody said you did. Use all this money, use all this money. Don't got nothing to do with me. Yeah? Yeah, can I get a rolling rock? All I said was that he's looking for you. I didn't say nothing else, did I? All I said was that Eddie was looking for you. He thinks I got that stupid key. I don't got that stupid key, Frank. Who said you did? So Eddie's looking for me? Yeah. For what? How should I know for what? Is he mad at me? How, how, how would I know if he's mad at you? What am I, detective? Where is he? He's hiding out from Lewis. The Carver, right? That's where he was last time. What is he, with a girl? No, he's not with a girl. No, he's not with a girl. He's always with a girl. No, he's not. Yeah? He's not with a girl. He's alone. He's up there by himself.
maybe come back another time. What the fuck are you doing here? I thought you said you were looking for me. He said you were here. Yeah, well, it don't mean you gotta be here, too. Yeah, well, he said that you weren't mad at me. He was wrong. He said you don't got a girl with you. Well, Frank talks a lot. Where's she staying? Where's my aunt? You wanna rock away? Yeah. You know. Why'd you run into Frank? At a bar. At a bar? Yeah. Right. Cool. What do you think? What do I think? I think it's one upstairs. Swarm a lot of places. I got a hot plate upstairs. I'll make you a cup of coffee. I'll warm you up inside. I want some coffee, don't you? Coffee's okay. Did you call the police? No. Say what? My boyfriend beat me up? Yeah. Hey, pick. When police comes and talks to Eddie and just don't do it again. He says, yeah. I still got the bruises on my face. And the cop goes and he's even more pissed off. I can't call the police anyway. What, do you got a hospital in there? Where did you? Where did you find a boy like this? Is that Ida? That's Ida. You gotta warn me before you put that on. He was in a band. This bar I used to work and used to play there. He wrote songs. The music pretty much sucked, but the words were kind of. They had a lot of feeling. Uh, poet. He had a car, okay? I was feeling kind of trapped then. We could go anywhere we wanted to go. You know, you got no right to judge me, Josie. He could have killed you. Your wife? 
Later she was, yes. How long were you married? A long time, not long enough. Kids and stuff? Yes, sir. Yes. He died. Really? Old-fashioned. My wife used to call me old-fashioned. My wife. What a thing to be able to say, my wife. Mm. Dorothy, my wife, she said I never loved her. I didn't take it really too seriously because with Dorothy, you could never be sure when to take her seriously. After our son died, after he was killed, she was very angry with me. She thought I could make things better. I don't blame her. She needed me. But I couldn't do anything. I was in pain all the time. All I could do was sit and stare. At the bricks and the wall. Or the cracks in the floor. Dorothy got quieter, drunk. I think my daughter's gonna come today. She came yesterday, Mr. Singer. So that's how it is with Kraft's disease. Kraft's disease? Can't remember a fucking thing. Just another minute. You get married, you get widowed. If you like to drive, you can take away your license. If you like to walk, get your legs give out. You like to talk and you forget what you say. You have your first drink, your last drink, your first woman, your last woman. So the doctor says, you're unraveling, Mr. Singer. You're asleep and you're unraveling. No. So I said, you're full of shit. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't even shave. Get the hell away from me. Couldn't make the stairs. Oh, I came down for my mail. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Would you give me a hand? Oh, just, just give me a minute. Could you not stand over me like that? I'm getting a crink in my neck. <laughs> oh, doesn't this remind you of the old days when a gentleman had come calling and sit in the parlor with the lady? All we need is a piano and a canary. I have you upstairs, good. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. My grandson wrote me. How many grandchildren you got? None. You don't have any? No. Oh. 
hardly worth growing old. Here we come. Oh, would you like a cup of tea? Some other time. Oh, you don't mean that. No, I certainly mean it. No, no, you don't. You're just being polite. And you're not very good at it. Tell me when you want me to have tea with you. Now. Just kidding. Do you ever get drunk off vanilla extract? It has a lot of alcohol. No. Have you? No. I heard of it, though. I got this roommate that I had once. She used to drink it all the time. I mean, she would drink it, then she'd throw up, then she'd pass out. And um, she also gained a lot of weight from it. It's pretty fattening. Oh, fun is a good thing, but only when it spoils nothing better. Absolutely. That's philosophy. George Satayana. You can just, like, quote that out of the top of your head like that. I mean, philosophy. I mean, Eddie can't even remember the words to his own songs. I read a great deal. I don't. I don't know. Except for magazines. If I did read, though, I don't think it'd be about philosophy. Just a lot of guys writing about philosophers who are writing about philosophers who are writing about other philosophers. It's like this giant chain letter of people trying to think. I don't know. I don't understand it. Yeah, sometimes. Wittgenstein thought... Most of the questions of philosophy arose from our failure to understand the logic of our language. Right. And the logic and alles was ein Schachspiel beschreibt. What he wanted to do was to show the fly the way out of the bottle. Right. I'm sorry that German thing threw me. What fly? Yeah, wait. In Vienna. In Vienna, they put honey in the button of the bottle, like this to trip flies. The fly would be going along, smell the honey, dive down into the bottle. He'd either get stuck and drown or buzz around until he died. And Wittgenstein thought most philosophers had fallen into a similar trap with the language. Why? Why would the fly want to leave the bottle? I'm sorry. All right, look, let's say that I'm a fly, right? I'm swimming around in this bottle. I'm having a great time. Can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be. And then Wittgenstein comes and he wants to, like, take me out of the bottle? I'm going to be pretty pissed off. Now you're talking about Plato and the allegory of the men's cave. Yeah, I heard of him. You should read him. I have a book. I don't read. And I want to get out of this shitty room and go someplace where there's people. No? Yeah. I know. Why? No. Let's get drunk. No, it's too late. Don't you drink? No. Oh, come on. I'll drink you out of the table. What? Here, take the popcorn. To the old guys, yeah. <laughs> You know what my father and mother do all day? Thank you. Thank you. My father feeds his fish. He's got these huge aquariums in the room. Lives off his union pension. He's a fireman. My mom, she cleans the living room all day. And when she's finished, she takes a duster in the dustpan. She takes it outside and hoses him off. She cleans. She goes to church. She comes home. She cleans some more. My father has an empty fish can. He throws it away. My mother comes, she takes it out of the garbage. She cleans it, she saves it. They never say a word. It's like a fucking ballet. I love this song. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, lots of them. We're Catholic. You wanna dance? No, I don't think so. 
You're a nice guy, Joseph. Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> Eddie's father's name is Joseph. He sells phony raffle tickets on the weekends. I mean, Eddie does that too, but, you know, he shows his tattoos and says he's a veteran. I thought he had a band. A what? A band. Yeah, what a guy's got to eat. I mean, he only does it on the weekends. And those other days, what do you call them? Double coupon days? Yeah, everybody always feels really generous on double coupon days. He steals from people, you mean? Charitable, good-hearted people? Technically. He's stealing. See, this is where the generation gap comes in, okay? I mean, I know what you're saying. It's a lie, right? Granted. I mean, but how bad can it possibly be compared to what usually goes on? I mean, what's a little lie in a phony raffle ticket for a dollar? I mean, it's nothing compared to what goes on between him and Lewis. Who's Lewis? This guy Eddie's in business with. Now, that's a bad guy. What kind of business? Business. It's none of your business. Some things you're better off not knowing. No matter what your philosophers say. Come on, let's dance. Come on. No. Come on. and blue is your color. Fuck off. The men's a bar. I saw him with Eddie. Don't ask a lot of questions, Joseph, please. Where did you find this? Uh, I found it out my windows set of, uh, on the fire escape. Did you find anything else? Anything else I should know about that might have dropped out of my bag? No. going? To visit a friend of mine. He used to live upstairs. He's 89. Where is he now? With his family? He's in a nursing home. Ugh. I hate those places, man. They scare the shit out of me. I've seen him on TV. I'm gonna buy dinner tonight. Is frozen pizza okay? Frozen pizza? Yeah. Yeah. One moment, please. Upstairs. Charlotte Suki, nice to meet you. I wonder if sometime you and your father would like to come up and have a cup of tea with me? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to ask him about that. What do you think, Dad? Uh, she's... 
She is not my daughter. I'm a little hard of hearing. What did you say? Charlotte is not my daughter. <laughs> no wonder you look so tired. This man came looking for you. He said it was important. You in some kind of trouble? No. I'm just asking. Where are you going? To the bus. Me too. I'll walk along with you. You lead a very interesting life. I hope my music isn't too loud for you. No, I'll no. I'll keep it low now. Oh, you need your rest. Thank you, thank you. So where are you going? To visit a friend, the accountant. From my apartment? He's in a home. That's a shame. So, and you? No place in particular. I take the bus to the end of the line, get off, come back. It's better than being stuck in the house. At least you see things. Which one is it? Uh, Which home? At a home. The Linden Parkway home. It's near Prospect Avenue? Yes. What's it like inside? Uh, it's... Uh, very difficult to explain. Maybe I'll ride along and take a look. Yes, yes. Would be wonderful. Well, it's clean, I'll say that. It's not my choice for last place before the crypt, but I've seen worse. Yes, well, uh, nice been seeing you. I'd like to check out the room. Do you think your friend would mind? Yeah, if you want to see the room, let's go. I'm scared of elevators. Ah, but there are stairs. My legs. Mm, perhaps uh, there's a room on the ground floor you can see. Do you mind? Okay, let's go. You're not so young. You said she was a young girl. There's someone else. This is Ida from your old room. She plays music. You like to dance? I wasn't very good. I'll bet you were wonderful. On the vertical, no. On the horizontal, I had my moments, if you know what I mean. Do you live upstairs in my old room, huh? Yes, sir, I certainly do. I'd like to live up there with you. We don't want to tire you out. Howard, how are you feeling? Did you bring the receipts? I have to do your taxes, Sue Joseph. What did you say that was? Ida. I never liked that name. You know, I never did either. Ida, if I'd have done this, if I'd have done that. Howard, <laughs> Howard, oh, 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 you never change. I hope not. I can hardly recognize myself in the mirror as it is. Are you coming back maybe tomorrow? Maybe. I forget your name. Ida. Nice, good old-fashioned name. Yes, I always liked it. She's sexy, but she's not 22. Ida lives upstairs. The girl in my room is 22 hard. You got a girl in your room?
you want me to leave? No. you today, huh? What's in the bag? You son of a bitch, you did it, did you? Holy God damn it. To your liver and your dick. Yes. Ah. Oh. Hey, light me one of those cigars. Thank you. Thanks. 
tell me. She feel all right? She makes some noise? Very sweet. Not shy. She talked all you ring, no? Now they say what they want you to do, it helps. And you, I take it, you stayed awake. You did all right. I tell you, lucky young man. You know, the last time I slept with the animals, I was standing. She almost threw up. The market is trying to boat to celebrate the 50th anniversary we sleep below deck in the life jacket bin. We were both drinking. With me rocking her one way and the boat the other, <laughs> she took out her teeth, said it made her feel better. <laughs> Is that, is this when you were seeing Maxine Sandusky, is this? Way before Maxine. Ah, yeah. I must have been only 55 or 60. to make the pies for the automat. Were you waiting long? I just got here. Well. Oh, you were something last night. Your violin, it was beautiful. Yeah. Joseph used to play with the band. I almost played Carnegie Hall. I was booked. But the concert was canceled. Last night there was no almost about it. Take care, Charlotte. Good to see you. You're Charlotte. Good. <laughs> She's good. Yeah. Uh, what are you, drunk? Hey. It's not going to do any good. They're just going to screw things up even more. Los must have thought you had the key. See, Eddie? Eddie stole the spot key from Lewis, right? And he gave me the key for safekeeping. I put it in my bag, and then we got in this fight. I threw the bag out the window. I don't know where it went. <laughs> what, what kind of business do your friends have that fits? In a locked box in a bank or a bus station. Eddie had something to do with some guy who took something who told someone something was a mere Eddie, 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 Eddie. I'm just so in a shot. Why didn't you tell me what kind of what kind of trouble you were in? Why didn't you? You think you wouldn't let me stay if I told you everything? You don't even know everything, and look at you. I don't fucking believe this. You know, I could have been dead for this. 
You know? You know it was mine and you hid it from me? Why, Joseph? Why? And you, if I gave it to you, you'd leave. Sorry. Take the key and go now, please. here can't you leave me alone i don't want you here now i um i forgot to tell you the irs man came back again if you're in some kind of okay. trouble now you told me thank you i felt sorry for you you felt sorry for me yes you were all alone you didn't have any family you didn't have anybody no grand you're sorry for me why don't you go upstairs, have some goddamn tea, and leave me alone? Riding the bus, just to have something to do. No wonder you're alone. You're a mean son of a bitch. Where's the older woman? Ida. She thought it would be better if I came alone. No, it's not better. You look good, Howard. What did you say? You look good. Look that shit. You know what I'd do if I could walk, Joseph? Get out of here, get a taxi cab. <laughs> And tell the driver to take me to the Staten Island ferry. I'd sit on the top deck, listen to the waves, and watch the goddamn seagulls. You and the girl, you still my glove? Every night. Tell me. Yeah. I'd be asleep. She'd just get on top of me. She wakes me up. Making love. She does everything to you. Every night. <sighs> well, if you're gonna work things out, everything's gonna be all right. Ida. I like that name. Ida.
Did my father, um, did he, did he say anything, you know, about me? Mr. Koppel? His last words were, thank God for my children. They all that I lived. <laughs> no. No. You know that key? I sold it to Lewis for seven grand. That's your six. I'm keeping a thousand for myself. Eddie's gonna be pretty pissed. He finds me. This roommate that I lived with like a year ago. She's got this apartment. She kind of owes me a favor. I don't know. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, Joseph. Oh, I'm going to take a ferry ride tomorrow. I thought you'd like to join me. I'd love to. Wonderful. I'll pick you up in the morning. Thank you. 